jubilant crowds danced and chanted in the streets of Brooklyn after a U.S. federal judge decreed an emergency halt to part of President Donald Trump's executive order banning immigrants from seven majority Muslim countries. The judge ruled that sending back refugees and other immigrants with valid visas would cause irreparable harm. The ruling affects several hundred people who were en route to the U.S. or had just arrived. We are people. We are not the government. We are not doing nothing. If the government do something wrong with this government, we are not responsible by American and Iranian. What they can do? Why I have to be punished for the somebody else's problem? Trump abruptly ordered on Friday that most people from Iran, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Yemen, Syria, and Sudan would not be allowed to enter the country. It's not a Muslim ban, but we're totally prepared. It's working out very nicely. You see it at the airports, you see it all over. It's working out very nicely, and we're going to have a very, very strict ban, and we're going to have extreme vetting, which we should have had in this country for many years. A number of people with visas to enter the U.S. were stopped as they tried to board flights or were detained at airports. As word of these developments spread, crowds of protesters gathered at New York's Kennedy Airport, as well as airports in Washington, Boston, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and other cities. Civil rights attorneys leaped into action. Lawyers for the American Civil Liberties Union petitioned the Brooklyn judge to hear arguments on an emergency basis, and she quickly ruled in their favor. The message is simple. I mean, this is uh, completely un-American. This is an unlawful order, and it is uh, making our communities much more uh, at risk and not safer. Trump had portrayed his executive order as an anti-terrorism measure, saying the U.S. needed extreme vetting of migrants from selected majority Muslim countries. The total ban is supposed to remain in effect for several months. He also ordered that when refugees were eventually allowed to enter the U.S. once more, preference would be given to religious minorities, meaning Christians. We don't want any ban and we don't want any wall. We don't want a fascist USA. This is not like uh, Germany, Hitler, Nazi times. This is not anymore, this is 2017. Trump's order caused an immediate uproar, not only in the U.S., but abroad. The German and French foreign ministers condemned the ban, and Iran retaliated by banning any U.S. citizens from entering the Islamic Republic. In the U.S., Democratic Party leaders, religious groups, and business executives condemned Trump's order as discriminatory and inhumane, while Republicans applauded it. But it was the immediate, spontaneous, and widespread protests that were most likely to put Trump on notice that large numbers of Americans believe he's leading their country in the wrong direction. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.